Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Early on, we have the Vulcans ignoring what's clearly meant to be AIDS in their own people, and it's really poorly done as a substitute for AIDS because to Paul has had, you know, it's, it's the mind meld that they're saying the mind meld is, you know, and to Paul had it done to her against her will. So if if we're going with the AIDS analogy, that would mean that either she was given blood without asking, you know, without, yeah, or she was sexually assaulted. And neither was really a problem in the AIDS. You could so easily do a good AIDS analogy. They didn't know any better for the, you know, for a while people thought that it was only homosexual men who could contract it, so they didn't do very much to find out how to deal with it. And, you know, some people to this day say that, well, it's just what, you know, homosexual... I'm not going to get into anything like that here. Anyway, yeah. Blood transfusions, because they didn't know that it could be transmitted through blood, and unprotected sex, because, again, it was thought to be only homosexual men who... And, you know, of course, they didn't have protected sex, because back then, if you protected yourself, if you used protection during sex, it was probably to avoid anyone getting pregnant. Gay guys do not impregnate each other. So, yeah, it was seen as... You know, they, they didn't think that there would be something there. And then, you know, and, and before you say that, oh, well, you know, the moment homosexuals started having a lot of sex, it had nothing to do with homosexuality. The research, it, I'm not going to... Heterosexual sex transmits it just as easily. And because it was determined to be you know, oh, well, it's only gay guys, so we don't have to worry about it, so now it's much more rampant than it would have been. So, good job. Yeah, you could, you could so easily have done it properly, have it be one of those two actions, but... Yeah, it usually wasn't forcible, and... Yeah. Now, I am, of course, going to comment on the third season arc, which is clearly 9-11 with 7 million dead, so it's, you know, yeah, it was two years after 9-11, so, you know, they, they were maybe hoping that by not doing it earlier, it wouldn't be too much of, you know, porn, but there's 9-11 porn in movies still, so it's not like, in, yeah, and it's too removed from 9-11 to be cathartic compared to something like 24. You know, 24 was like, okay, as long as this Jack Bauer gets his man, 9-11 won't happen again. You know, that's something that you can, you know, people watching that would, you know, cheer and go, you know, and of course, it fictionalizes. It, it has things, you know, intel gathered, credible intel gathered from torture and such that don't, you know, that aren't proven in real life. But still, I can understand the point of that show. I think I watched some of it and, yeah, pretty good. Good concept with the whole, you know, real-time kind of thing. But, yeah, that's very much saying, you know, 9-11 just happened and we have to deal with that. And, yeah, it's satisfying. It's satisfying to see this you know, typical American badass 
guy, you know, going around stopping possible, you know, things that are like 9-11 or might become like, or might be worse than, but it's, it's catharsis. But here it's just, it's too removed from it. It wasn't, it wasn't a people we had never heard of before. It wasn't a, yeah, there's just, there, there are so many things where 9-11 and the Zindi attack are so completely different. The, again, without getting too much into the politics, obviously 9-11 was horribly wrong, and I don't condone any act of extremism, any act of terrorism, but it's not like the U.S. never went into the Middle East and never meld with their affairs. It's there were some actions taken that led to a lot of hatred of America and maybe yeah they would hate America even without. They, they're taught to hate the Western culture but it's just yeah you, you can't really compare it like that. And again, you know, it's not like 24 says that, you know, oh, it was completely, you know, like it wasn't necessarily completely innocent, but Jack Bauer is, you know, I don't remember if he's actually CIA. He's, yeah, it's like counterterrorism agency or something like that, that is part of the CIA, something like that. So it's saying, you know, we know that the CIA had, you know, dealt with threats you know, against America before and, and dealt with Middle Eastern extremists. So let's have a CIA guy run around dealing with that. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it is just tasteless and it, it boils down to 7 million women in refrigerators. Although, you know, not all women, but I think you get what I mean. One of the mentioned victims is Tripp's younger sister. So it's very much this, oh, I, I failed to protect them. I will avenge them instead. And yeah, it would be cheap and tasteless, even if not for 9-11. And near, near the end, it's even, you know, they, they just have to convince the Zindi that actually the Guardians are going are gonna to hurt them as well. So you don't have to, you know, no, no, no. It's fine that you want to commit genocide based on, you know, some information that you've gotten from people that you otherwise trusted without at all trying to communicate with the people that you're genociding first. And my ex-fiance pointed out that it's really stupid to send a prototype attack, you know, that warns the, the people that you're genociding. Why not test it? They, and they actually do this. They test it in season three to, to make sure that it's, you know, and tested, you know, somewhere else than Earth. So it's, yeah, anyway, yeah, no, 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 don't worry about that. Just if you genocide us, it's going to hurt you too. Oh, well, in that case, I care. Yeah, and it gets a full season when it clearly did not have material enough for a full season. And then there are other issues like how they showed us the Zindi much too soon. They showed us the council meeting much too soon. They showed the, the various, you know, they, they didn't explain enough what the difference are between the different species. They finally do that near the end of season three, which is, yeah, much too late. And they, they showed that the Enterprise didn't find them much too soon and updates us on the Zindi too often. It just, we didn't need to see both sides, as my ex fiance pointed out. And yeah, it's a full season of the Enterprise and the Zindi dancing around each other, neither of them particularly accomplishing anything. And yeah, you know, and, and stuff that I almost forgot that the anomalies were, you know, they were mentioned every so often. And suddenly it's, oh, by the way, they're created, they're not random. Okay, so, yeah, and it, of course, has the temporal Cold War, which is then dropped and not at all resolved. <sighs> yeah, 
and the I don't think that the Zindi arc needed to suck. I don't think it needed to be so so loaded with filler. The thing is that you know I I almost forgot the whole biological weapon thing before they finally bring it up. I thought that was just going to be a one-off. I didn't think they were going to bring it up again, but then suddenly it's important again. If they just took the episodes that really followed the plot, so we don't have a lot of scenes of Archer trying, Archer arguing with Zindi about them trusting him, Zindi arguing with other Zindi about whether they should trust him, and just boil it down to they find the Zindi, then the, you know, the one of the first things that actually happens in the season is the biological weapon. So have that as one of the first things. Heck, maybe the rep the reptilians do that to, in in part, to also distract Enterprise or something. And then you know you have the sabotage. That means that then the weapon doesn't pull through. And that actually, yeah, that you could you could drop that entirely because that doesn't really accomplish anything. It's that they capture Degra and mess with his mind, yeah, and then they, you know, and then right after that, the moment that they have that, they could show up at the council, present their evidence directly to the council instead of showing it to Dagra, then to that other Zindi, and then to just, yeah, it's completely pointless, and there's this scene where just Archer opens one you know, thing after another showing, this is the evidence of that, this is the evidence of that, and each time it get, gets lines, I was like, just make this a an actual montage and save it for when you're talking to the council instead. This is just, you know, I, my ex-fiancé suggested that maybe they were worried that the viewers themselves had forgotten all of this detail but yeah all the dancing around you know and and Degra is killed by the the reptilian obviously we knew from the first glimpse of that guy that he you know that he wasn't to be trusted and dragging it out so long just makes it just yeah beyond obvious that it yeah and then you know the the very finale of the third season it's it's like speed or I I have to quote the nostalgia chick in her review of Armageddon. What else can go wrong? We've now entered the the part of the movie that I like to call what else could go wrong. And that's literally it. One thing after another just going wrong, something not quite going the way. And it's like it's easy enough to build. It's difficult to properly, you know, it's it's easy enough to add to an action scene. It's much harder to properly build up, you know, rake up the tension gradually. And yeah, the the episode even early on we're like, just get on with it. Just and it just keeps going and going. I practically groaned out loud when Hoshi actually dropped the the thing with the with the code. And then, you know, they have to go without and and Archer runs and from from the fireball and somehow survives which is never explained when we're given the you know the the nazis in the yeah please comment thumbs up and subscribe for more content